Sis, if you found yourself overwhelmed, staring at a closet full of clothes, but still nothing to wear, pay attention, because this video is for you. Today's video is all about prepping your wardrobe for fall and the three essential steps you should take before buying new clothes for this season. If you're new here, my name is Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you love styling videos, fashion hauls, and lookbooks and vlogs, then sis, you found your tribe. Keep on watching. Um, so the first step that you should take before buying a new clothes for the season says is going to be to do your research. Now this is going to vary depending on your personal style. So if your style is very classic, if you tend to like the same sort of pieces, then you're going to probably do less research than someone who who likes to keep their wardrobe current, who wants to stay on trend. Now it helps you by making you a lot more intentional with your shopping. It doesn't have to be this big overwhelming thing. You don't have to watch all of the runway shows. I mean, there's thousands of them unless you want to. Your best resource is gonna be right here where you are, which is on YouTube. I typically always make a trend, a video every season. So if that's already live, I will have it linked for you down below. But typically most of your favorite favorite fashion influencers will do some type of video talking about trends if that's what you're into. But yes, YouTube is a great resource and a great place to start. Now if maybe you don't want to watch a video on the trends, maybe you want to read something. I also typically do a blog post where I talk about the trends in depth as well. And then another great place for you to check out um, trends is going to be Pinterest. Pinterest also does a great job. You can search. Um, I like to always search like new York Fashion Week street style and things like that, right? All tons of content will come up. Um, you can actually curate all your favorite images, create a board that you can reference, maybe piece, maybe outfits that you want to rec recreate for yourself. I really personally really love influencers because what you get from, you know, checking out your favorite influencers channels and, you know, whether it be YouTube or Instagram is that typically if you've been listening, <laughs> you're following influencers that look like you. So you can see like what these trends, you can have like a, a real life example of what are these, some of these trends will look like on you. So, so I figured this is going to be a great time to mention that this is part one of my fall fashion series. If you love fall fashion, make sure you're subscribed and you've hit that notification so you don't miss the next drop. Now, step number two, <laughs> uh, the, the, the step we love to hate is going to be purge, P-U-R-G-E, okay? Purge, purge, purge. I highly recommend consistently going through your wardrobe and purging, pulling out pieces that do not work for you. Now, I would recommend a two-step purge. The first step would be to go through all of your summer pieces right now while they're out and pull out those pieces that you have not worn. Do a mental audit, right? And, and put those pieces aside for later to sort them out, right? Now, as you're pulling out your pieces for the next season, for the fall, you're also gonna do an, a purge. Now, when you get in the habit of purging, the purging becomes a whole lot less overwhelming because you're constantly doing it, so you don't have a ton of clothes that you have to go through. This really helps you to create your wardrobe and really have a clear vision Vision, okay of what you like and you're gonna go through all those pieces right and pull out those pieces that you probably didn't wear that the whole of last fall and then make a decision are you going to um, is it in great condition so can you sell them like on places like Depop and Poshmark or um, do you want to just donate a pile now I know we're trying to save the planet um, so if you are able to recycle these pieces definitely consider doing that um, but there's just some things you just can't keep and I, I would not recommend donating because guess what even like some of those pieces that we donate that aren't great quality 
all that happens is that the donation centers end up putting them in the trash anyway. So, and then of course the items that you loved, that you wore, that you're planning on keeping, and that's important, right? Because the next thing you're going to do is inventory, all right? After you've purged, you've been a big girl and you've let go of that dress that stopped fitting you five years ago. Sis, if it, if it's been five years, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give some tough love now, okay? Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. But if it's been five years, and since you still don't fit in that dress, then here's what I recommend. As much as you love that dress, sis, I recommend you donate it to somebody who can fit it and can wear it and create some space in your wardrobe. And so go ahead and be a good Samaritan and pass on that dress to somebody else who can wear it. So we're going to do an inventory. And this is the reason why this matters, right, is because we're going to look through those pieces and see which pieces were my most worn pieces. So now this is also a great time to use kind of like a seasonal checklist. I have a free seasonal checklist that I provide to all of my new um, letter subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, I'm going to put a link to that. As soon as you subscribe, you're going to get an email to the checklist and that you can download it. Right off the top of my head, if I were to think of like three of the most worn items for fall, it would definitely be like a cardigan, a long sleeve tee, and um, a trench coat. But there's more obviously so for those key staple wardrobe pieces you want to make sure that you have a good assortment to fit your style so they're easy for you to mix and match and so that you're not putting out together outfits and missing that thing right this part takes a little bit of getting used to but once you get used to it you start making mental notes like when you want to put together an outfit and like damn I wish I had a crop top to go with this oh damn I wish I had a turtleneck to go with this you start getting better at writing things down and I actually create a couple of pages in our style template guide specifically dedicated to helping you do this audit inventory process and if you so if you don't know what our style template guide is it's basically a guide that I created in response to to the feedback that I received from the community to help really take the overwhelm out of getting dressed daily. So I'm, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description box down below. Once you're done with your inventory, you have a clear picture of what pieces you loved and plan on wearing for the next season, um, what pieces you need to add more of in your closet, and kind of like what pieces you need to stay away from because you've already pulled out all those pieces. You already seen that you didn't wear that midi skirt, um, that leather midi skirt that you bought last fall. Even as much as you thought it was cute, as much as you saw it on your favorite influencer, let me... <laughs> Let me throw us under the bus. As much as you loved that printed bodycon dress, you didn't wear it, right? And once you've done that, the next step is going to be to create that shopping list, right? Because now you know. You know, you've researched the trends, you know the trends you wanna participate in, so you can add that in on the shopping list. Okay, you know what you need to add more of. So if you've been enjoying the video so far and you found it useful, sis, it's a great time to hit that like button and, you know, tell a friend about a friend. I mean, I think we're friends, right? <laughs> My hope from this video is that it helps you create a wardrobe that sparks joy and helps you slay on the daily. You can also create what I call the save, spend, and splurge list, okay? so. You're gonna make a list of the things that you wanna spend on. It's a good idea for that list to be classic pieces that are worn frequently. You want it to be able to hold up. It's the base of your outfit, right? So you also want it to look good, okay? You're gonna create your splurge. Now that's, the splurge section is really gonna depend on your budget, your personal preferences, your style, but I always recommend that the splurge section be pieces that you see yourself wearing for years to come. If your style is colorful, then maybe you want to invest in a Jody bag, right? Or if your style is neutral, then maybe you want to invest in a Loewe puzzle bag. Or maybe you want to invest in a Burberry trench. And it doesn't have to be that high end, okay? There are some mid-tier designers as well. So like a brand like Stodd will be considered a little bit more of a mid-tier. And then of course for the save category, 
to me that's where I feel like you can really have a lot of fun you know your trendy pieces the pieces that you've seen while you did your research that you want to kind of like test out and buy into you definitely want to try out the piece but you don't want to break the bank just in case you don't end up wearing the item as much you, your pocketbook isn't like taking a hit now tea on anything that I shared in this video will always be in the description box down below if you want uh, you know details on this this is actually a dress that I'm wearing um, I actually mentioned it recently in a haul all that tea will be also in the description box down below you can check out the shop my looks link which will take you to my LTK where I share 99.9 percent .9 of all the things that I feature so my favorite necklaces my favorite you know my watch Watches, jewelry, makeup, skincare, wigs, you name it, okay? Okay, this dresser behind me, I share it all over there so that everybody has like a one-stop shop. Okay, it's super easy. And if you do not have the app, I highly recommend you download the app for additional features like search and save because you're able to like save things and you're alerted when they go on sale, all of the good stuff. And thousands and thousands of your favorite creators are on that app as well. So definitely download the app, follow me, let's be friends. And um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Oh, before we go, I'm not going anywhere. Let's continue the conversation down below. Let me know, have you done your seasonal switch?